Oh, sorry, Chad Daddy. Wish you were here, bud. Wish you were here. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to day four, sick week, Valdosta, Georgia. It's gonna be a great day. They had cinnamon toast crunch at the Hilton Garden Inn here. Uh, it was delicious. We're somehow leading the class in El Toro. Never brack a racer index race a day in my life. And uh, couldn't be more pumped, man. I'm hoping I can win that orange helmet. Andy's car broke on the road last night. We got it, he got it fixed. I said we, I didn't have anything to do with it. Uh, Preka hit Bambi and uh, we pulled the front end out. You guys will see that in this video. Uh, we thought for sure we were sending that thing home on a record, but somehow we managed to pull it together and get it fixed. So, I mean, what else can get in our way today? I should knock on wood, actually. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoy. So we sheared off the uh, end of this bolt adapter for coilover for the Menser shocks to the GTO IRS. So we went to Tractor Supply this morning and got some grade 8 bolts, some spacers, and uh, we're going to figure it out until we can overnight a set from G-Force to Bradenton tomorrow. bit of a leak. Let's see if she'll seal it up. It's, it's hot. I know your antifreeze is hot. Pretty soft. Start it up. Start it up. guys so we took and uh, we had some channels and we just uh, pinched off these veins inside of here I think we got it all sealed up so we're gonna put a uh, fan back on it kind of rig it up well, while these came through <laughs> just in case <laughs> all right guys so the so stop leak got the radiator stop leaking hey, you got another one of those I don't. It, there's one down in here somewhere. You see it? Is that actually a lock washer? Or is that a flat washer? So we got a stop leak. We had an extra fan we're putting on here. Luckily it's 40 degrees out, so I think it's going to be all right. Doing some body work over here. Pulling some more dents with, with the old tow rope.
I'd really like to go a 50 with a something, but a 52, 51 would be ideal um, with El Toro. That'll keep us in the lead, might buy us a number. The car behind us in the lanes uh, is second in our class, so I'm going to pay attention to, to what he runs, and that's really going to see if we need to try to make another pass and tighten up a little bit or, uh, or not. As far as Andy's car, um, man, we're struggling with slowing that thing down. It is hard to bracket race a twin turbo car, I'm telling you. So we think we got a couple of ideas. We just need to turn something in better than an 860 on Wendy's car. So, wish us luck, right? Doug's a big bracket racer. Big bracket racer, yeah. starting point for us. Uh, the weather's a little bit different than it was in Gainesville. I'm not a bracket racer. We've never tried to be consistent with this car, but it's actually repeating fairly well, even though we're not right on the 850 number. So I'm going to go back up there and uh, just run it out. I flipped the throttle once to kill a little bit of time because I felt like we were ahead of the, the clock. Uh, so we're going to do that. Hopefully get like an 85, like a 1 or 0 with, a, with something behind it and just get a little bit tighter on that number to make the competition nervous. So unfortunately, you know, my competitor is a good friend and customer of motion, but I'm, I'm uh, competitive, so I'm not handing it to nobody. I hope he beats me, but not really, but kind of.
and then gave it a little bit more timing back, uh, just trying to creep back up towards that 850 without uh, overshooting. This will be your last run, right? Likely. Yeah. 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 All right. Four with a six, I think. Uh, so we're definitely got a lot closer. We got something that we can hopefully work with. What does it look like going into the last day tomorrow? Um, I haven't even checked my standings. Uh, yesterday was pretty, pretty out there, so I don't, I don't think I have a, I don't think I'm in the running for anything. But we're right here and we're having fun, so it don't matter. We're learning. is over. I didn't, El Toro went a 54 with a 7, 854 with a 7, and an 847 with a 9. And then I really kind of ran out of talent, I'm feeling like, so I went a 57, a 57, a 57. After that, try, I tried different things to try and like slow down from the, the 47 with a 9. Meanwhile, Matt and the turtle, Miata, did what he needed to do. He went a 52 with a 7, so it's gonna be really close going into day five. Um, if either one of us has a lead on each other, it's only like a few thousandths of a second. So, uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens. And uh, we'll head to Bradenton and we just gotta put our best foot forward because that's all we got left. So, uh, you know, you have to make the drive and then you have to uh, run your best in Bradenton. Luckily, we haven't changed the tune up one, one bit since uh, earlier this week, so, in theory, we should be able to run a 52 with a 7 as long as the conditions haven't changed very much. So that's probably what we'll do. Let's go right out of the gate, run the same 52, see how that goes, and then try and go up from there. 